It's another day with Tinkercad. I don't know if you're seeing the trend here, but first we had the one for the land, and then we had the one for the water. So today, I don't know if you could guess what we're doing. We're doing something for the air. So we will be creating a hot air balloon today, and if you're ready, click on create new design. Please do not forget to log in with your Google account so that I could check your progress, okay? So click on create new design. And let's get started. So to do your hot air balloon, we need we need to look for your paraboloid. Let's rotate this one to 180. Let's put a work plane on top. And let's drag half the sphere on here. Now let's go back to the original work plane and let's align them together. Once it's aligned, control G to group it. Control D to duplicate. And we'll make the other one a hole. And the other one, we'll make a hot air balloon out of. Checking the dimensions, we have 20 by 20. So your diameter is 20, and the radius will be half of your diameter. We will change the width to 10. And depending on the side that you want to have for your hot air balloon, will also be dependent to the rotation angle. The more size, the better. The more size, the prettier. Let's try to have this one with 20, 20 sides. So 20 sides would be at an 18 degree angle. So to do that, press Control D, change your rotation to 18, and Control D again, and it will just go around and create your sides. So now that you have a full circle, you're ready to color it. So click on one side and choose the color that you like. So your hot air balloon could range from four sides to 24 sides. Um, each of the sides are called panels, and these ridges are called gores. Control-G to group them. And change solid color to multicolor. And we can make this a little bit bigger now. Hold down on shift so that all the sides will be increased all together. Let's drag this hole inside our hot air balloon. And let's get a top view and just let's have this aligned to the center.
nudge your outer balloon out and click on the hole again. Let's try to make this hole a little bit bigger, okay? And just recenter. And let's group them. So it will give your balloon a nice skirt like that. But if you do not want to have that kind of skirt, then do not uh, take out your hole, okay? Do not have it outside of your outer balloon. So, for example, let's press Control and the up arrow key to bring that inside again so nothing is out there no hole is out there and let's just create a skirt out of a cylinder so the skirt is like the edge of uh, oh the mouth the mouth is the edge of your hot air balloon This is where the hot air will flow from. Now let's create your basket. There are like two ways to create your basket. One is the easier way and one is the harder way. Let me teach you the harder way first, okay? First, let's create a circular basket. So go to shape generators and all. Go to page 15, the tab 15. So there are two weaves here. Let's take the squarish weave and put that on top of the work plane. And let's take the weave curve. And let's rotate this one to 90. Let's just move our balloon away for a bit so that we could create a nice circular basket. Control D to duplicate and mirror it the other way. And select the two of them. Control G to group, and again, mirror it the opposite way. Let's view it from the top. And let's make sure that the floor is in the middle. Uh, press D to drop them all at the work plane, okay? And let's align everything just to make sure that everything is accurate. Okay, now that we have aligned your basket, we could group them. Control G to group them. And we need to take off the extras at the edge of your floor. So to do this, let's go to page 10. We would put like a template here.
and let's drag the cycloid on the workspace. And let's resize this um, similar to the size of your basket. So your basket is around 28. Let's try to rescale this to 29. Let's make this a hole. And press D to drop it at the work plane. Looking at it from an angle, you would see that there are some great areas. Those great areas will be the ones that will be deleted later if we will group them. We do not want to delete your weave here. So let's make this a little bit bigger because we just want to remove the extra weave from the floor of your basket. Let's change your snap grid to 0.1. Okay, I think we have the good shape already. Now let's control D to duplicate and mirror it so that it could remove the extra weave from your other floor, other end of your floor. And let's view it at a different angle. And let's just make sure that none of the weave gets deleted later and none is grayed out. Okay, now we are ready to group this. Let's watch it from the top view here. And let's group them. So this is the harder way. And there's an easier way. It's just to create a square basket. But um, the harder way is prettier. So let's go to page 15 again. So there's our pretty basket now. And let's go and do that weave, okay? Let's rotate the other one to 90. Press D to drop it to your work plane. And control D to duplicate and rotate again to 90. So it goes to the other side. And control D and rotate again to 90. Control D again. And it's pre rotated for us. Make sure that all the ends meet and overlapping, so it's nice. And let's group them together. Control G, highlight and control G. So now I'm giving you the option of which basket to use, okay? You could use your square basket or you could use your circular basket. Let's nudge our balloon upward. and align it to the basket of your choice. And just make your balloon bigger. So shift and pull out the corner. Click on the balloon and click on the basket and let's align them.
So once we have aligned them, and click at your balloon and click at your basket and control G to group them together. Once you have grouped your balloon, let's put the strings. So you go back to your main shape or your basic shape, go drag a cylinder into the work, work plane and change this to one. Let's make it longer. Control up to nudge your string upward, which should be a string. And try to give it the same color as your basket. You might want to rotate this at an angle. And Let's make sure that it is touching your basket, okay? Or else your passengers will fall off. Okay, um, if you're satisfied with this one, click on your cylinder, control D, mirror the opposite way. And drag it toward the other side. Group them together. So control D and let's rotate this the other way like a, at a 90 degree angle. Let's try to adjust the spacing, make sure that it would look evenly spaced. And there you go, your hot air balloon. You might want to create another balloon for this one with a different number of panels. I'll give you extra credit points. So control G to group your balloon.